Hey everyone, Gaming Noodle here with another episode of Odd Sphere. This time we are going to be playing Gwendolyn in Armageddon. Leventhon, this is that little dragon? It's long enough to encircle the entire continent. The King of Snakes. My sister mentioned the Leventhon to me once. Prophecies are as unstoppable as the stars. Tis impossible. It would be like putting out a volcano with a bucket of water. It is too much. is collapsing. Miris. Rom. I'm sorry. Leventhon will eat the land. Even your last treasure. Oswald. <sighs> Do not forget. Knock down the crown. The crown. She said that. Look carefully. It's wedged on its horn. So that's... Leventhen. The last dragon. <clears throat> Tell me that this is not the most epic dragon you have ever seen. This is like... This reminds me of Snakeway from Dragon Ball Z. It's exactly what this reminds me of. But holy moly, look at the size of this thing. He is so long. You can he's sprawling out across the whole sky. You can see him in the background and everything. Wow. And as if things were not bleak enough, they have to add in there. Oh, the mountain that Brom and Miris and all the other Pukas are on. Oh, it's crumbling into the ocean. Wow. Just, just depressing. You're, you're fighting this battle, it just seems so hopeless. Alright, let me just uh, explain that this fight is uh, pretty simple actually. You just see what I'm doing here, you have, just have to make your way up the dragon. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice went a bit weird. You have to go all the way up the dragon, how I've done it, avoiding a few of the obstacles. When you get to the top, you are fighting where the crown was on its uh, horn thing. You do that as much as you can until it hits you off. Now, I've been kind of careless on this fight. Um, you have to kind of watch out for its tail. You'll see its tail in the background sweep across. When that happens, you should be jumping because it's gonna then come into the foreground and it's gonna knock you down a few levels if you get hit by it. Look, see, there goes the tail. Now, the thing is, the tail didn't hit me that time, but he knocked me off regardless because I already did a set amount of damage. If you do a lot of damage, you can't just stay there forever doing as much damage as you want until it dies. After a certain set amount, like with the other bosses, it kind of pushes you away to kind of limit the damage you do. When you are going up its body and it comes like at this point mid section it's going to try and eat you uh if you get eaten you'll obviously take a, some damage think of like the belial fight you know the dragon belial when it used to eat you you would take damage while in its mouth and it will spit you out that's basically what happens here it will eat you take some damage and once it takes the damage it will spit you out and when it spits you out you're actually, you're going to fall a few levels down and that's kind of not very good like because then you have to go all the way back up again but I would look there goes the tail again you just have to jump over it and you will not get hit but uh, this fight itself is uh, pretty basic uh, it's it's actually surprisingly I would say maybe 
it is if you don't do the onyx fight cheaply that's pretty tough that fight now this fight i would say is maybe the easiest out of all the bosses it's really not that difficult well for me anyway it's not but uh yeah i, I didn't avoid that lightning i should have it's not it's not too difficult to be honest you shouldn't have that much trouble with it but this is so amazing like I remember when I first saw this fight, I my jaw dropped. I was like, no way. We're actually on the dragon. We're fighting on this massive dragon. This is so cool. And just the the story, everything coming up to this point. The music. Okay, you, you may not be able to hear it properly because I'm blabbering on and on over the video, but it has such amazing music. I love the music. I don't know if I've, you know said enough about the music in this playthrough but the music in this game is absolutely phenomenal I absolutely love it and they really did a good job this final fight I think is is pretty much perfect you're gonna I should not actually have got hit off like if I didn't get smacked off that time I could have killed it by now if you want this head to go away you don't you don't always have to swallow it as you, it, he doesn't always have to swallow you, sorry. As you saw, I did so much damage to it that it retreated. If you do enough damage, it won't actually try and eat you. It will just go away again. So, there's that. Now, I'm going to kill this last dragon that was once a baby that we used to fight. Let's see what happens, huh? Hopefully this uh, story has a happy ending because right now it's depressing as hell. All right, guys, enjoy the story, and I will see you for the final episode. Dearest Oswald, 